Hello viewers. In this class, we are going to study how to draw the non-stop filament. Start with, since it is a filamentous algae containing almost spherical cells which are arranged in the form of a linear manner or in the form of unbranched chain of cells called trichome. This unbranched chain of cells called trichome is covered by a mucilaginous covering to form the filament. Now to start with, we can draw the cells. I use different colors just to, for the sake of differentiating the various parts. We should draw spherical cells. The larger one is called a crinid. The elongated one, you can consider it as radiosis. and like this few cells to start with and it consists of the cells with the cell wall cell membrane you cannot see here you can draw the The naked DNA, since it is a prokaryotic, the DNA portions in it without any proteins associated with it directly. And here these cells are called vegetative cells which have some photosynthesis and this is the larger cell perinatic cells called the kinetes. that stores food materials formed during the unfavorable conditions like uh, when there is drying of the pond where water availability is very less like that. These are called kinetes. Thick-walled cells These are the thick-walled cells And here we find some specialized cells Which are pale yellow colored Here when I use yellow color cannot be seen clearly, diagram is not that proper. So, I will take a green color inside it. Pale yellow colored cells normally. It won't take any stain. Thick walled cells, empty looking cells, you cannot find the nucleoplasm. There is a nucleus which is present here in the primitive state in other cells. And you can find these cells are called heterosis. Heterosis and that too intercalary heterosis. 
because they are present in between the vegetative cells. Since where there is an attachment of the both the ends, the terminal regions to the vegetative cells nearby, there is transport of some substances through a small pore called terminal pores are present or polar nodules are present. This is polar nodule. A pair of polar, polar nodules are present at both the ends where it is attached to the adjacent cells that is vegetative cells. And here one more you can see. You can draw like this equal with the polar nodules. And terminally also it may be present. There only one polar nodule can be found. And uh, this is called terminal heterosis. With uh, only one polar nodule. Now, in the rest of the cells can show the chromoplasm. Each vegetative cell consists of peripheral chromoplasm and a central the nuclear region is there which is with the primitive nucleus called centroplasm so the cytoplasm protoplasm within the vegetative cells includes central centroplasm peripheral surrounding that colored pigments are present in it so we call these as the chromoplasm. So like that you can show few cells that is vegetative cells with a difference in the colors because chromo means color it contains various pigments within it with the chromatophores. There is no well developed cell organelle since it is prokaryotic. You can show few dots of two or three different colors. And see that there is no any presence of the Centroplasm and chromoplasm differentiation in all the remaining cells, except vegetative cells. And these thick walled cells are called achinides, singular achinid. And you can draw a few words of blue colors. This is uh, very easy to remember and also students will find it uh, interesting to draw this not only to score marks but with the enthusiastic mode you can study more about the plants as well as the animals in biology. Three more dots you can complete the this. And be passionate to learn drawing the diagrams that will be really helpful to get to know the inner hidden things within the cells through these diagrams itself. Now I use yellow uh, green colors, few dots. That is present in the cytoplasm field in the form of plate-like structures called chromatophores. Two dots, just a 
mixture. That is to indicate that diagrammatically the colored pigments are present more like a green chlorophyll, red color indicates a phycoerythrin, blue color indicates phycocyanin, erythro means red and cyano means blue. Centroplasm, chromoplasm, differentiation. This is, a, this is terminal heterosis. This is intercalary heterosis with the two polar nodules at the terminal ends where it is attached to the vegetative cells. And here, yeah, terminal means only one end it will be attached to the vegetative cell. There, it has the polar nodule. Through that, there will be transport of substances. And here, now I am going to draw. The mucilage covering, this is just a tricorn. Now, mucilage covering can draw it surrounding this. Just to show the difference, I use different colors. Mucilage retains moisture surrounding the filaments. chain of cells and three types of cells you find here one is alkynes these are produced only during unfavorable conditions like water scarcity or dryness drought etc where they are perinating spores or resting spores during the return of favorable conditions these alkynes help in continuing the generation reproduces also and mainly it is involved in storage of food materials and polar nodules help in transport of substances across this and mainly these heterocysts are involved in nitrogen fixation because of this nitrogen fixing capability only nostoc which is a blue green algae it is also called the biofertilizers and it also occurs in the paddy fields where there is stagnant water and it occurs as a, the endophytic alga in some ferns like azolla leaflets and also in the coralloid roots of cycas plant and mainly your intention is to how to, to know how to start the diagram and end the diagram and the labeling as well so this might carry only the label diagram for just 3 marks or 5 marks and very amazing to look at it and when you also try to draw very neatly in your practical record or in the classwork take more interest towards it that I am the best in drawing like that definitely every learner can enjoy biology and if this video is useful to the students and also the learners how to start and end the diagram in an easy way in a more artistically as far as possible that might be helpful for getting more interest towards learning process with respect to biology if this video is helpful please do comment for further modifications if needed thank you